Hello everyone, today's video is how to open up and get to the hard drive or the MMC or whatever, uh, sorry the SSD in an Acer model number N17Q1 manufactured 2000 or mid 2018 as other numbers that might be uh, common to the machine as well is A 315-51-35Z3 First thing, I'm not sure whether you have to do this but it's good practice too just in case uh, undo the two panel screws and lift the panels out So on this model you can normally, I think, have a standard SSD or traditional hard disk which would sit here. Uh, on this specific one it has an, an SSD on the NGFF uh, or M2 connector inside around about here, I think. So once you've undone those two, which you definitely actually do need to do because you need to undo this screw here. Uh, I'm going to start from the extremities but basically undo every screw on the underside. They're all the same length so you don't need to worry about where each screw from this stage comes from. The one on the these ones for these covers might be slightly different. Um, let's check. Nope, they're all the same length, so it doesn't matter one bit which one goes back where. While I'm undoing this, on this model there's a spare RAM slot. On the other side, or I think either somewhere else on the board or on the other side of the board, there's some soldered on RAM. So there's a base uh, amount of RAM that this machine comes with. Now I'm getting to the last few screws. So I've done all the ones that are obvious on the outside of or the underside of the case. The ones not to forget about are these ones which are or would be underneath this hard drive cover. So there's one there and one there. And the good news on this machine, there are no hidden screws underneath any of these uh, rubber pads, unlike some of the HP computers where you have to peel up the rubber undersides. So that's all the screws that you can see undone. Next thing is get the trusty spudger or very thin knife that can go down the side of the machine not don't do not use just a flat bladed screwdriver because unless you like lots of graunches along the edge of the machine where you've stuck that down there and leave it open uh, it will damage it just using a screwdriver so 
here's how I do this with this very kind of wide blade and very thin blade it fits down doesn't damage the case so what I'm going between here is not between the screen and the palm rest it's between the palm rest and the underside case of the laptop might get a bit difficult to keep it within the shot of this video but I'll try my best especially with my hand in the way so basically gently levering this machine open so I've got most of it open on one side uh, what I will do now is just see whether I can hinge the entire thing up so quite firmly Trying to get hold of the entire panel. No, I'm not going to be so lucky, I don't think. Ah, uh, no, I've got it. So this entire thing is now hinging upwards, but is still clipped in along the back of the machine. It's going to try my luck and see whether just uh, gently putting force on it is going to help. No, that doesn't help. I'm going to have to use the spudger down the side of that I do apologize that my arm might be getting in the way of seeing what I'm doing there we go uh, for the rest of this I've gone under from this this direction and pinged it out this back bit here you have to go in from the other direction, uh, the clips seem to undo in a different way. There we go, I've just seen that that's now pretty much entirely free. So I just lift that up, and there we go. That's the underside panel of the laptop. which exposes to us the SSD on this model machine here in an M2 next generation format slot there the CPU the wireless card the battery here and the battery connector there uh, fairly easily replaceable power jack so that's just a module rather than being soldered onto the board so if you manage to smash your power jack that's going to be uh, particularly easy to replace it looks like you need to unscrew that bracket there and move the hinge up because this part of the hinge here is keeping the power uh, power jack in place but that's uh, very easy and I'm glad they've done that that's made, made it very easy that connector there could potentially be for the serial 88 over to the traditional hard disk which would have gone there if it had the traditional hard disk so the uh, good question for this machine is and I get asked this a lot on a lot of my other YouTube videos is oh, okay I've got I've got an SSD here but I want to put a hard disk in it for the extra capacity can I do that uh, in this instance on this machine you can't unless you can find the lead which would go from the motherboard to the standard serial ATA connector for the hard disk. So back to the task at hand which is taking out the SSD or the, the solid state hard disk on this machine. There's one small screw at the end of the M2 SSD that one is a very different size so make sure you keep that separate when you undo the screw the SSD will just hinge upwards and then gently pull it out and there we have it it's a Kingston 128 gigabyte SSD it doesn't have a manufacturing date on it 
However, in this machine I believe that this SSD has gone wrong. If this video has been helpful to you, it would be really helpful to me if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my YouTube channel. You don't need to have the video notifications switched on, but the subscriber numbers really do help.